And so on today's TV topic, I will be giving you a review of the Netflix show Seven Deadly Sins. Now, I believe this is the second time we've done an anime show, just because last week we did the same review. It's just, (laughs) it didn't work. So this will really be the first time we actually get it up on our channel that we've done an anime review, I think. It's all lies. I think we've... We talked about anime before. I we know talked we about, but we haven't done reviews of them. Probably not a review. Yeah. So, Seven Deadly Sins, just to give you a little bit of a heads up on what's going on in this world. I believe it is supposed to take place in on Earth, really in England, I would imagine. Back back in the day, the, the setup to the story, like the, the little intro monologue is always... Uh, in a time, in ancient times, before the world of humans and demons was sealed off. Uh, these knights rose up to destroy the demons, and they're called the Holy Knights. Well, the story pretty much takes place in this world, and there's a princess. She runs away from home, because that's what princesses do, apparently. And she stumbles into... She goes out looking... All the time. Yeah. Well, she goes out looking for these, these special warriors. They're called the Seven Deadly Sins. Now, in this era, there's orders of knights. You have the holy knights are the big guys and like the strongest of them are holy knights, but then you have littler orders and you know, some of them kind of take their own orders, but everybody kind of reports directly to the king. Well, the seven deadly sins were supposed to be by far the most powerful group of these knights. And there were seven of them, of course, and something happens and they're branded as traitors against the kingdom and kind of shunned. So they all go to the winds and they separate and they go their own directions trying to keep away from all this craziness. Well, the princess is out looking for the seven deadly sins because she's kind of caught a whiff of a plot by the Holy Knights to kind of take over everything. Kill her father, rule everything. So she goes searching for these knights in order to have them come back and kind of put a a stop to, to what the Holy Knights are doing. So that's the basic plot of everything. Uh, now go into a little bit of things like the characters all excellently well done every one of the characters is very unique you can tell what their personality they have very defined and distinct personalities which is a nice thing for an anime because it doesn't always happen hell it doesn't always happen in a lot of tv shows sometimes characters kind of blend into one another they don't they're not they don't feel like individuals but in this one everyone is their own individual and they all act accordingly Nobody really jumps crazy out of character at any point in this. You're just like, okay, I kind of know where this guy's going. When this is presented in front of him, okay, this is what this character would do. So do it's nice that they stay in do, character and you understand what's going on. So that, do that's all pretty the, uh, Do all the deadly sins do things that correspond with their They really don't. Sin? There, there's really, it's not really. <laughs> it's really, some of them do, yeah, but not all of them. Like, I want to say, like, there's a giant in this. I want to say her deadly sin is, like, uh, like serpent or something like that. And then there's a guy who's sloth. So, and... so these... Okay. So okay. Her... Like no, no, no. Okay. Are She's they a serpent actual, sin. The seven deadly sins? Okay. I can't... Okay. Then, no, no. Her sin is... Um... Yeah, I can't remember her sin. But they're all associated with an animal as well as with one of the seven deadly sins. Like, the leader of the group, he's the dragon sin of wrath. And that's what he is. Uh, then, and so they're they're all a little bit different. But so the script, it's well scripted. I, I enjoy it. The, there's plenty of nice and funny comical moments, and there's plenty of serious, more serious moments. But again, it's 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 nice because you don't ever get jarred out of immersion because you're not like, oh wow, that's totally not what's how somebody would talk, or that's not what that character would say. That's totally against their character. No, you, you pretty much get to stay straight in it the whole way through. So it, it's it's got plenty of foment, funny moments, plenty of times where I, I actually found myself laughing out loud at the show, which is, is kind of a rarity. And then there's the, plenty of the serious moments where the action really gets going. So it's very, very well scripted. Uh, the animation, I totally enjoy this art style. It's fluid. It's smooth. I'm sure they have some CGI in there kind of just to help to push it out like pre-rendered backgrounds or something like that, but it doesn't feel overly computer, um, but you can tell it's not quite all hand-drawn. But like I said, that's all I want is something smooth. Each person looks like a person. Every animal, anything you run across looks like that thing. So it's it's not like you have to worry about, oh, is that a dog or a pig or, you know, you know what everything is, which I appreciate. And it all looks as realistic as you can when you kind of draw it out. So animation, very well done. Voice acting, one of my biggest uh, 
you know, concerns when I'm watching shows like these or anything at, at all that has voice acting. Because, uh, you know, I'm kind of a fan of voice actors. If I could do that, that I would do that. If you would like to hire me, hey. He could play Brian. I can play myself. Host of Words for My Face. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's me, host of Words for My Face. I uh, bet you didn't see that coming. Yeah, so yeah, just, just write it into your next animated movie, uh, or we'll help you. Trust yeah, us. Well, hey, well, there's plenty of places. If you want me to write us into the, your script, I will write us into your script. So Doesn't for the voice acting, acting the if you want it to well. be a central part, all right, we understand if you want to be a central point, but that's yeah, up to you. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. We'll do it. We'll do it. But uh, so the voice acting is well done. It's not something that we've always gotten right here in America. For a long time, voice acting made these animes intolerable uh, because I won't watch something that's subbed because I don't like to read and watch at the same time. I'd rather either just watch or just read. So For me, I, I will watch. I actually do frequently watch subbed. It, it really comes down to who has the better voice actors yeah. for the setup to me. And There's, I understand that I lost a lot of people who are like hardcore anime fans with that statement because they're like, oh, you don't really like anime if you like the voice acting. Well, I, that teach his own, right? You know, <laughs> I'm not going to hate I, on you. I think you it for... depends on the anime. There are some where the English honestly does a better job. There are some where it's crap. There are some where it's not even the the voice actors are, are bad. It's just that they didn't bother to change timing, so they have to mm. sound awkward. So it's just like, I don't know if you do the things. And that's more directing than anything, if it if it turns out like that. I mean, look at almost everything okay. that comes out of Funimation. Really, they just get the rights for these shows from Japan, redub them, and put them out there. And that group has been pumping Sometimes out they do quality shows. Sometimes, but it, it yeah, depends. Maybe that depends on the producer. Recent. How much I haven't seen any recent uh, Funimation dub that I haven't liked. So, But voice acting, top-notch. Again, that is an important thing for me. It, it helps with the immersion. I'm not going to watch a show with bad voice acting because I'm not going to read the subtitles. So, and, and keep that in mind, Brian's talking about the English here. So he's saying that the English voice acting was, was pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. I have no idea about and the Japanese one. voice acting. It, it really wouldn't matter. I wouldn't be able to understand the Japanese voice acting, so I really wouldn't be able to tell if it was on time or not. I, it, that wouldn't matter. So, But the English voice acting, very, very well done. So, and overall, I actually, when I first reviewed this show, um, I gave it a two and a half because I said it couldn't quite figure out what it wanted to be sometimes. It didn't know if it wanted to be a comedy or an action show, and that was when I was only about six to eight episodes in. I am finished the first season, and it's bumped itself up to about a three and a half. So it's got a whole point extra after I finished it because it did come together. They did figure out what they wanted to be. They wanted to be a, a action show with some comedy sprinkled in there, yeah. some levity to the show. And I appreciate it. The story so definite recommend territory. Yeah, that's three definite recommend like territory. The story people. doesn't totally fall off the rails as it can happen with Japanese anime where they're like, okay, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. Oh, two episodes left. We're going to give you this right turn flip, flip the script and something totally different is going to be behind the end. And they don't do that. They keep it pretty good. Well, I can't wait for season two to come out. Um, so if you haven't checked it out, check it out. It is on Netflix. One cool thing I found out about this is this was they call it a Netflix original series, but apparently they just like they probably helped produce it with whatever company in Japan, uh, their association with Aniplex, which makes a ton of anime out there. Mm -hmm. One cool thing is they're actually they don't have all 24 episodes released in Japan yet. They both started on November 1st. Netflix streamed all of them at once. And the Japanese network that is airing them week by week is still going. So. Us Americans got it first. That Not, <laughs> doesn't always to, say um, that. Our next topic, or something related to our next topic. But, so, but yeah, so let us know what you think. Up. Have you seen it? Do you want to see it? Hit us up. Give us your reviews. Uh, comments down below. Of course, at Words of My Face on Twitter. Google Plus and Facebook. Always good ways of getting a hold of us. <laughs>